is excited with the three homes she has seen and what this beautiful island has to offer. Now she needs to sit down with her property professionals to recap. I thought it would be useful to invite my professional associates here. Dimitra brought two of her professional colleagues to help Helen with any questions she has. Ageliki Santi is a Greek lawyer and Kostas Fragopoulos is a Greek civil engineer, both working in Mitilini. I'd like to know how long it usually takes for settlement from the time that you put in a deposit and sign that your intentions to buy. How long does that usually take to, to get the key? In case uh, you are a European citizen or you have the Greek nationality, uh, it's easier to get the permission to buy something in borders because uh, Lesbos is in the border of uh, Greece. So we have a different uh, uh, procedure to buy the house uh, in this place. Do you need to be in residence during any of that period of time? You can uh, give the power of attorney uh, to somebody you, uh, you trust and uh, he, in this case, uh, we, uh, we usually give the power of attorney to the real estate agent. Demetra was very kind and sent me a list of, of things that I would need to have. Mm -hmm. So currently, um, here now, I have uh, my, my resume um, in, translated into Greek, I have my birth certificate, I have my father's Greek papers, my grandparents' Greek papers, I have my intent to buy letter, all signed by notaries, and my police clearance. What other kind of documentation would I need to supply to you? You've got all the legal documents. But now, because the license is property specific, mm -hmm. you need to decide which property is going to be. So the additional documentation will relate to the property. Helen has gathered all the relevant documentation, but other actions are required. The primary action is to get you a tax registration number. Now, why would you need that number? Mm. Well, basically, that number is the one you'll have forever, almost getting it tattooed on your forehead, because you need it to buy the property, as in to go and pay the property transfer tax on it. You need to have that number to go and put electricity on it. You need to have that number to have water uh, uh, added to it. If you decide that you want to do some works to it, you need to apply for a planning permission. You have to have it. Yeah. And if you need to pay national insurance on account of the works you might do to your house, you want that as well. So basically, think of it like your passport number. One of the properties that I'm looking at is being sold because of its view to the Aegean. In front of the property, there is some vacant land. How high is planning, um, height-wise, um, for a building that may go in front of a property, should I choose to buy it? The maximum height of the building uh, can be seven meters and uh, one half meter for the roof. One of the things that Demetra said is an important document is the deposit agreement. Could you explain? Because it reserves uh, this uh, property on your behalf and uh, makes all the special agreements that uh, we want uh, between buyer and vendor. Is there any other fees and charges? Like we've talked about all the work that Costa will have to do mm. and we've talked about all the work you would have to do. Mm. Well, what is the notary's role? The vendor has to pay for the topographical document, has to pay for the energy ID, has to have a solicitor that represents him, uh, both at deposit agreement time and at sale completion time, and pays his, that's his legal fees, mm -hmm. and of course paying the estate uh, agent that found the buyer for him. The buyer now has the responsibility of the deposit agreement. The deposit agreement fee is the responsibility of the buyer, mm -hmm. because he's securing his position. Yeah? And then you have the notary uh, charges and land registry charges. Of course, the solicitor that's been uh, doing all the checks for you. Yeah. And the estate agent fees. At home, stamp duty is usually about eighteen to twenty thousand dollars. Right. So is it in those kind of? It's eight percent for the first five thousand of the value, yeah. and the rest calculated ten percent. With the great information from the property professionals. Helen is now in position to make her final decision. It wouldn't be possible without you and uh, my Viscous Ventures. 
Yeah. Um, and, and you really have been wonderful. We've been dealing on the internet yeah. for quite some time, which we uh, are very thankful for. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your time, both of you. Yeah. And I uh, hope I move to Greece soon. <laughs> That'll be wonderful. <laughs>